for certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. So you do the bubble tea? I used to, and then I found out how much sugar they have oh, and it? stuff, so I stopped. Well, they look cool, but I, I admittedly have never had oh, bubble tea. Yeah, that's so good. Um, I like What's coconut. The ball? They're, they're made out of tapioca. They're tapioca balls. They're chewy. It adds to like the experience of drinking. You have a chewy thing in your drink? Yeah, the <laughs> straws are, are uh, wide so that you well, can slurp up some of the David, you're just going to have to go no. get you one today no. and experience it for yourself. Well, now I <laughs> Really Expand feel your palate, yeah, David. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> all right. That's hey, all. the weather um, will be pretty nice to have a bubble tea today because it's going to be warm. Uh, that tea tends to cool you down. Uh, we're going to see temperatures. Yeah, it's a cold tea. Uh, we're going to see temperatures uh, this morning in the 70s, and then we'll see 80s this afternoon. Patches of drizzle around this morning, just this morning. And then for the rest of the day, clearing out some, becoming partly sunny. Stray shower with thunderstorm possible this afternoon into the early evening evening, but we have a better chance for scattered showers and a few thunderstorms tomorrow, and that will be late tomorrow into tomorrow night. Temperatures for the rest of the week above the normal. However, after today, we'll see highs closer to the mid 80s as opposed to the upper 80s. Temperatures right now, 70s across the board. Notice most in the low 70s. To the south and west, though, we're seeing mid to upper 70s, still pretty warm in Del Rio at 78 degrees. The high humidity, well, that's slowly coming back. We had a brief break from it late yesterday. Here are the dew points in the upper 60s to low 70s this morning. Believe it or not, the oppressive humidity comes in tomorrow. Extremely humid as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. And this adds to the chance for storms, some of which could be strong to potentially severe. Scattered clouds across the area this morning. More clouds low stratus clouds coming in from the east and we're going to see maybe some drizzle sprinkles patchy drizzle uh, through the morning i suspect that fog is not going to be that big of an issue this morning across the country while well, we are seeing rain and snow across the intermountain west that storm system is moving east along the u.s canada border that's going to stay to the north of the region however there is an upper level short wave that will be moving in from mexico and that gets here tomorrow that's what's going to enhanced our rain chances late tomorrow into early Thursday. So let's take you through the day. Cloudy this morning with areas of drizzle later this morning. This afternoon should become partly sunny. It'll warm up into the upper 80s. More humid this afternoon compared to yesterday afternoon. Shower or thunderstorm possible mainly along and east of I-35 and near the coast. That will be this afternoon, but going into the late afternoon and early evening heads up along the border. Storms coming off the mountains of Mexico could uh, impact uh, our border cities and perhaps even into western portions of the hill country. Tomorrow in the morning, cloudy with a few showers or patches of drizzle. The showers continue to develop tomorrow in the afternoon. Some of the rain locally could be heavy for the evening commute, believe it or not. There could also be an embedded thunderstorm tomorrow evening into tomorrow night, and that thunderstorm could be strong to severe with the potential of producing some large hail. Thursday morning, it looks like the bulk of the storms will be off towards the east, but can't rule out maybe a couple showers or thunderstorm. Late today, marginal risk for a gusty storm off towards the northwest, but notice Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night, a marginal risk for the rest of the area. Again, primary threat will be large hail. Seven-day forecast, 50% rain chance late tomorrow, 40% early Thursday, then a 30% rain chance for Friday and Saturday. Here's the extended forecast for the other three zones. In the western zone, a 30% rain chance Thursday and Friday, 50% rain chance in the hill country on Thursday. That is a look at your four-zone weather.